Hello to my viewers. My topic today is about geometric sequence. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1. Where a n last term or the nth term a1 or a sub 1 is the first term and r is our common ratio and the last is n is the number of terms okay so let's go to an example number one I have here two six eighteen and fifty four now the question is find the common ratio so how to find the common ratio so we have r is equal to a sub 2 over a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 over a sub 2 by the way this is a sub 1 this is a sub 2 this is a sub 3 and this is a sub 4 so we can have now a sub 4 over a sub 3 this is easy to memorize because there is 2 3 4 and then our denominators we have a1 a2 and a3 now let us substitute the values of a2 and a1 and the rest a4 over a3 a2 is 6 over a1 is over 2 is equal to a3 a3 is 18 and then our a2 is 6 then the last fraction or the last ratio is a4 over a3 a4 is 54 and then a3 is 18 so let us check this one if they are equal so what is 6 divided by 2 that is equal to 3 how about the second fraction 18 divided by 3 eight, sorry 18 divided by 6 that is 3 and then how about the last 54 divided by 18 let us check 18 times 3 See to it that this will be equal to 54. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry 2. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So this is 54. So therefore this is 3. So the common ratio is equal to 3. Now let us check. Okay. So A1. We have now A1. This is 2 times the common ratio which is 3 so 6 this is correct now let's go to the third a sub 3 so 6 times the ratio this is r this is equal to 18 and then next is 18 times r this is 3 so 18 times 3 is 54. So therefore, number one is number one r equals three is correct. Now let's go to number two. The same question. Find the common ratio. Negative forty. Negative twenty. Negative ten. Negative five. So look at number 2. 
So we have negative 40, negative 20, negative 10, and negative 5. So the question is find the common ratio. Since we know that this is our a sub 1, this one will be a sub 2, this is a sub 3, and the last will be our a sub 4. So what's the formula? R equals a2 over a1 is equal to a3 over a2 is equal to a4 over a3. So this will be, what is our a2? a2 is negative 20, and then a1 is negative 40. Is equal to a3 is negative 10, a2 is negative 20. Is equal to negative 5 over negative 10. So what is negative 20 over negative 40? So cross out zeros, then we have 2 over 4. Since we know that negative divided by negative is positive, so what is 2 over 4? So we can now reduce, reduce this one by dividing 2, numerator and denominator. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is 1 over 2 is equal to 10, negative 10 over negative 20. Since we know that negative divided by negative is positive, and then we cross these zeros. So I have here 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is equal to negative 5 over negative 10. Negative divided by negative is positive. Then I have to reduce this one by dividing 5. So 5 divided by 5, this will be 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So they are equal. So therefore, our common ratio for number 2 is 1 over 2. Let us check if R is correct. Our common ratio for number 2 is 1 over 2. Now let us check. First, we have our a sub 1, then multiply by the ratio. Since we know that the ratio is 1 over 2, so this will be negative 40 because negative 40 times 1, that is negative 40 over 2. So, half of 40, 0 divided by 2, 2 is 0 and then 4 divided by 2 is 20 so I have here since I have negative so this will be negative 20 so this is check how about a3 let us check a3 since I have here negative 20 no sorry negative 10 sorry. negative 10 times r so negative 10 times half. Okay. So negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. Then over 2. So negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. So this is correct. By the way, we divide already this one. Negative 20, I mean multiply by r, which is half. So this will be negative 20 because this one. And then since there is one, multiply. So this is negative 10. So therefore, my r is equals to 1 half is correct. Now let's move to number 3. Come on now.